for three days i do not have time hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here around here we like the video before we watch it so i'm just gonna give you guys some time go down below into the comments and you're gonna see somebody telling you that around here we like the video before we watch it so just go down below and give me a thumbs up you know just give me a thumbs up it's kind of like you're kissing me on the forehead for making this video it feels so good so just go down below and give me a thumbs up okay anyways today um i decided to just film it is currently 8 p.m and it is exam season it is exam season if you guys have seen my last exam season vlog you guys know that exam season is not the best time for me it's not the best time for anyone it kind of feels like you're kind of at war at war with yourself at your at war with the university at war with just it just feels like nothing is in your favor right now and yeah I did cry today. I'm not gonna cry again on camera. I'm feeling much better now. I did have an absolute low crying session by myself, but I'm feeling much better now. And I just thought that I would film for you guys just to let you guys know, you know, we're in this together. Somebody sent me the nicest, nicest DM today. I don't wanna read his DM on camera because I don't know if he would be comfortable with me sending it. I mean, posting it on youtube where you want to see but it was just something along the lines of thank you so much for making content like he was just really appreciating my content and you don't know how good that feels for someone to tell you that what you're doing is making an impact in, the, in their life and surprisingly my audience is largely male i don't know if it's because <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm doing actual science and people have the stigma that it's a male-based degree, which, I mean, there are a lot of boys doing it, but yeah, my audience is largely male and I do get a lot of DMs from niggas telling me that um, they like my content. But yeah, today I just thought I'd film a nice little late night study with me. I'm also going to be giving you guys some last minute grade saving tips for um, exam season. I know some people, some of you exams might have already started. Some of you exams are literally like in still got two weeks, but as for me, I've got three days and I don't have time to be doing one of those videos on YouTube where you've got 80 days and they give you an 80 day timetable of how you need to break down your time. I've got three days, bitch. I've got three days, I do not have time. I do not have time to be fucking around. So I'm gonna be giving you guys some study tips. I'm gonna be doing a study with me. I'll be filming myself studying. I know you guys love to see me study. So yeah, it's currently, I think it's already 9 p.m. Okay, no, it's almost 9 p.m. We're gonna try and study until midnight, then I'll take a nap and then wake up, carry on with my morning. So yeah, that's my plan for today. If you are currently in the middle of exam season, you are not alone. I know it's not fun. Um, yeah, so let's get into the study with me. Let's get into the study tips first. So my first study tip for today is going to be repetition. I know a lot of people hear repetition and think, come on, dude, like everybody says repeat the work that you're studying. But it's literally, they say it because that's what works. I know a lot of people, you would think that reading over one thing once is going to help. It's not going to help you. So what I like to do is I like to use flashcards. I like to use flashcards. I've been using flashcards ever since I was in Form 4, which is equivalent to, I think it's below metric, Form 4, just below metric. I've been using flashcards for a good minute now. I use flashcards to write definitions. If you are like a metric student, A-level student, um, O-level student, IGCSE student, flashcards, especially for subjects like, you know, business, accounting, uh, maths, not not so much with maths, but um, for subjects like business, accounting, economics, uh, law, I guess, you know, stuff like that, especially content heavy subjects, flashcards are your best friend. So today I'm going to be doing some economics. Um, I'm going to be studying some economics tonight and I just thought that I would show you guys how I make my flashcards for ecos okay i just thought i'd show you guys how i do that so yeah stay tuned what a love hate relationship with this subject so let me show you guys how i write my flashcards 
I know I'm studying economics. My economics and exam is not in three days though. But I'm studying economics because I kind of feel a bit shaky about that subject right now. The biggest thing about studying and the biggest method to actually retain information is through repetition. You can't be studying and going over one thing once and expecting to know it the day of the exam. You're not going to be able to retain that information. This is why flashcards are really good because you can keep them anywhere. You can keep them by your bed. You can keep them in your room. You can keep them, I don't know, in your car if you have a car. You can keep them anywhere essentially. So flashcards are really good for you. These are my economics notes. Beautiful, beautiful notes. I know, I know. Anyway, these are my economics notes and um, I'm going to be going over a couple of the first units that we first started studying um, the first weeks of the semester. So I'm going to be going over unemployment policy, inflation, monetary, sorry, unemployment, monetary policy, inflation. Um, and then I'm also going to be going over tutorials. That's another really big thing. So all of the tutorials that you would have done in class, like this was a tutorial on tutorial three, and obviously it's been marked now, it's been returned to me. I didn't go back at the time, I didn't go back and actually check the mistakes that I had made, but to go back and, and check now, go over all of the tutorials that you had done in class, all of the tests that you had done in class as well, and just go and see what you did wrong and make sure that you get it right now. Make sure you realize why you got it wrong and make sure that you get it right this time so in every unit you probably know your subject better than I would but for every unit that you have you know that there are certain things that in that unit were a no-brainer are going to come for example if I look into my unit week week two economics I can see that we had that was like the most calculation intensive week that was where we had calculations on if you guys can see this that was where we had calculations on GDP, the components of GDP, um, you know, how to calculate GDP for a closed economy, private economy, households only economy. Look at me looking at the screen because I don't know this stuff. So this stuff is definitely, one of these equations is definitely probably going to come and you need to know it at the back of your hand. Obviously, you're not going to memorize these equations overnight. This is where your flashcards come in. So I'm going to be writing these equations down on my flashcards. And next, I'll go into the next unit and I'll see what are the essential things again about this unit. What what do I know is going to come up? You have to think about this in a very like, you know, strategic way. There are certain things in certain units that you just know, okay, this isn't like essential, like things that are on calculations maybe if it's just a definition that's something that maybe you can just read over and you'll remember but things like calculation things like graphs for example this unit had the specific graph which would always come up in tutorials and now I know I need to learn this graph so I'll draw it on my flashcard so that's literally how I use flashcards guys I just go through each of the different units I see what is essential what is it that I know is going to come up again you need to think what is it that I got wrong in the tutorial what is it that most students were struggling with maybe even ask your lecturer what is it that most students were struggling with in this tutorial and that is what you're going to learn that is what you're going to draw or write down on your flashcard so that's what i'm going to be doing right now and yeah let's just get into the study with me
few hours later. Guys, it is now just after 10 o'clock. Um, going on with my flashcards. I'll show you guys my flashcards completely when I'm done. But um, so far so good. I've written a few things. I finished one unit now. Um, I'm not too tired yet, but I am getting a little bit tired. I am getting a little bit tired. No, I'm not drinking coffee. Um, I don't drink coffee. I don't drink. I'm not trying to drink energy drinks as well. You can guess what's in the cup. Um, yeah, so I'm now just chilling. Um, I was watching some TikToks because I just needed to refresh my mind, which is very counter counterintuitive because TikTok actually clouds your mind. But yeah, I was watching some TikToks because I just felt like I was bored. Economics is boring, man. It's like, fuck. um, yeah, it's kind of boring now. <laughs> we just have to keep going on. We're gonna keep going on until until 11. I realized I do have to wake up again at 3 a.m. to do something. I need to finish at 11, try to sleep for four hours, wake up at 3 a.m. Yeah, so that's the story of my life right now. So I'm just gonna carry on. Um... So I'm finally done with my flashcards now. It is around 11 o'clock and I did about two units. So as you guys can see, there's a lot of diagrams. Like one thing about economics is a lot of diagrams. So I just tried to add a lot of, draw a lot of the diagrams down. Then I'm gonna just keep looking them, looking at them as I go on throughout my day tomorrow. I also wrote a formula sheet for most of the formulas, well, the difficult formulas. And yeah. As you guys can see, I wrote a few definitions as well, a few points that I thought that I needed to know, um, definitions, here's another really big diagram that I know always comes up, um, and I got it wrong in one of the tutorials, that's why I decided to write it down, then another diagram, so yeah, I wrote about, about, I think eight flashcards, obviously this is not going to be, this is not everything that's going to be tested on, but I just tried to condense as much information as I could into these flashcards and the stuff that I was getting wrong in previous tutorials, I just tried to write it all down so that when I go over it again, I won't get it wrong this time. Anyways guys, that's all that I have to do for today. Um, it is now 11 o'clock like I said already, so I'm now just going to go and sleep. I am super, super tired. I just want to take this whip off and just let my head breathe. I've kind of got a headache. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. I mean, what? Oh my gosh, I'm tired. I'm tired. You know when I'm tired, I just start 
saying things that i'm not supposed to say anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this little study with me i hope you guys got a lot from the study tip that i gave you to use flashcards i hope let me know down below if you're gonna try and use flashcards when you're studying and let me know down below as well when your first exam is it doesn't matter what degree you're doing or whether you're in university or whether you're in high school just let me know when your first exam is or when your first exam was don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up don't forget to share this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this type of content our family is growing 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 we're on the road to 3,000 subscribers so don't forget to like don't forget to share and subscribe i love you guys so 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 much and i'll be back with another video bye